The world of MMA has given rise to some of the greatest fighters in the world, and while many have been knocked out in their careers, there are a few who have never tasted defeat by KO or TKO. For instance, Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal has stepped foot into the octagon almost 30 times and has managed to walk out without assistance every time. Though the MMA veteran hasn't won all of his bouts in the promotion, he's made a name for himself by never once being knocked out in a fight. Masvidal has gone up against other great UFC welterweights, such as Kamaru Usman, Steven Thompson, and Nate Diaz, but has yet to have had his lights turned out. Plus, considering the guy also holds the record for the fastest knockout ever recorded, he's one tough son of a gun. Very much like the bullet, Valentina Shevchenko. The UFC women's bantamweight champ's biggest asset is her indestructible chin, better known by her fighting name, Bullet. The fighter has a sensational 21-3 professional record and has never once been finished, except for one anomaly. The only stoppage loss in Shevchenko's extended career was when she went up against Liz Carmouche back during the C3 fights, Red River rivalry in September 2010. Although she'd been dominant for the most part of the fight, an illegal upkick from her opponent in the third round ended up opening a large cut on her forehead. However, for some reason, the referee decided to not call the illegal strike, and the cage side doctor made the call to put the fight to a stop, as Shevchenko was considered unfit to continue. Which is why, rather than getting a disqualification win, Bullet was unfairly handed a loss via doctor stoppage instead. But still, there's no denying the chin on Shevchenko. She's gone toe to toe against Amanda Nunes, arguably the greatest women's combat athlete of all time, for five whole rounds on two separate occasions. Plus, the Lioness didn't manage to finish in either of the matches, even coming close to losing during her second outing against the Iron Jawed Fighter. On the other hand, though, aside from being able to take hits, there are those who specialize in dishing them out instead, such as Max Holloway, who aside from holding the record for the most strikes landed in a single fight, also officially holds the record for taking part in the most number of fights, without once being knocked down in his entire history with the UFC. Holloway also holds three decision wins and a single TKO victory out of the four times that he's fought outside of the promotion. The closest he's ever gotten to being knocked out was back during his rematch loss to Dustin Poirier at the UFC 236 event, where he ended up being saved by the cage after Poirier dazed him with a well-placed jab and ended up wobbling him with a massive overhand right during the last few seconds of round two. He might have avoided getting laid out, but he still did didn't manage to snag the victory itself. But hey, you win some, you lose some. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of crumbled cookies, the next entry into the anti-knockout knockout club is Boss Rutten. Yes, yes, I can hear a few complaints already. Isn't the guy already retired? I hear you ask. And my answer to that is yes, I know he's retired. In fact, he's the only retired fighter on this list. And I also happen to know that he retired without ever being knocked out once. So, so don't come at me, that counts. A win is a win, regardless of when you got it. He managed to close the curtains on his colorful career with an unbeaten 22-fight streak, out of which 21 were wins, and only one of them was a draw. He's a former UFC heavyweight champ and has made a name for himself thanks to his devastating striking skills. Out of the four times he's ended up tasting defeat, two of them were when he went up against Ken Shamrock, while the other two were during his fights against Frank Shamrock and Masakatsu Funaki, respectively. However, he managed to right those wrongs after avenging those last two losses against Shamrock and Funaki, but was forced to retire due to the injuries he'd sustained over the years, without getting the chance to avenge his dual losses against Shamrock. That may be a bummer, but still, at least he could retire holding his head off the canvas. Coming back to active fighters, there's John Jones, who's arguably the greatest fighter in the the world of all time, a claim that's hard to dispute once you take a look at his statistics. Jones, also known as Bones, has managed to emerge victorious in 26 out of his 27 outings in the UFC, 15 of which had been title fights, 
and despite dominating the UFC's lightweight division for more than a decade, Jones has never once been knocked out inside the octagon. He made his MMA debut back in April 2008 and managed to amass a 6-0 record in just three months before eventually signing up with the UFC. Even successfully defeated Moises Gabin during his final bout outside of the UFC in a second round TKO for the USKBA light heavyweight championship title. Still, I'm not done yet, as there's a whole lot more where that came from, such as Marvin Vittori, an Italian fighter whose latest loss dates all the way back five years to 2018, during a closely contested split decision loss against none other than the UFC middleweight champion himself, Israel Adesanya. His only other defeat inside the octagon came during his second outing with the promotion, after he ended up losing to Antonio Carlos Jr. at the UFC 207 event. The two other remaining career losses from Vittori's career also came due to decisions while he was competing on the regional Italian circuit. Still, however, not a single knockout loss in sight, so it still counts. Same was the case with Clay Guida, who was the first Strike Force lightweight champion in the promotion's existence, holding the title until he was eventually defeated by Gilbert Melendez at the Strike Force Revenge event. Despite that, he continues to be one of the most entertaining fighters in the sport, always bringing an enormous amount of energy paired with a seemingly bottomless gas tank. Plus, he sports a granite chin of his own. I mean, just ask Diego Sanchez. Speaking of elites, I'm pretty sure Khabib Nurmagomedov counts in the category, as he's managed to prove that he's an elite athlete time and time again. And apart from his extraordinary grappling skills, the Eagle also sports an unbreakable chin. We have seen Khabib eat brutal shots from knockout artists, the likes of Conor McGregor and Justin Gagey, and still manage to walk through them on every occasion, as he remains retired with a perfect 29-0 record. There is no question of a knockout loss in Khabib Nurmagomedov's career. The lone defeat in Khabib's career came in an amateur Sambo tournament when Khabib was 17. Despite putting up a tough fight, Khabib lost via decision to 20-year-old Ibrag Imon, who later won bronze medals at the 2016 Olympics and 2018 Asian Games. And lastly, when it comes to the taking part in the most professional fights without ever once being knocked out, we have Takanori Gami, who fittingly joins the club as the last and only pride lightweight champion in its entire career. As mentioned before, he's taken part in the most number of professional fights without ever getting knocked out. And although we have no idea whether he has the best chin in MMA, since he fights in a much lower weight class where fighters don't need that much KO power, being able to compete at the highest level while still continuing to maintain such a record, the fireball kid deserves all the appreciation he gets. But hey, those were just some of the greatest fighters who've never been knocked out once. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.